Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for sixth graders. Our first concept is rational numbers. Remember sixth graders, practice makes awesome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you can be alerted to all new videos we upload. We will be going over problems in our sixth grade math review workbook. It is available to purchase in our store. The link will be in the description box. So let's review rational numbers. Rational numbers are numbers that can be written as A over B, or we can say a fraction, where A and B are integers and B does not equal zero. We have decimals that are rational numbers, fractions, mixed numbers, and integers are all rational numbers. And let's look at our graphic organizer that we have. We see that overarching our rational numbers and then we have it divided up so let's start with the uh, smallest box which is natural numbers those are the counting numbers so one two three four all the way up to infinity those are ca called natural numbers whole numbers are counting numbers including zero. So anytime we start with zero, one, two, three, four, all the way to infinity, we know those are whole numbers. Integers are whole numbers and their opposites. Now we're going into the negative side. So you see in our example, we have negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero. And so from zero all the way from the positive side, it will be to a positive infinity. And on the negative side, it will be to negative infinity. Now, rational numbers are integers and numbers that can be written as a ratio, or like we said, a fraction with repeating and terminating decimals. And here are some of our examples. Now let's dive in and let's look at the different examples again of our different types of rational numbers. We're starting with rational numbers again and we have integers and numbers that can be written as a fraction. So if we have the whole number eight, can that be written as a fraction? Yes, eight is equal to eight over one. For the square root of nine, it's equal to three. And yes, that can be written as a fraction as well. Three over one. Let's look at, we have 290 thousandths with the T T H S at the, at the end or 0 0.029 that can be written as 29 over 1000. And we have 1 1.5, which we can convert into a fraction to be three over two. So again, rational numbers are integers and numbers that can be written as a fraction. Integers, again, they're whole numbers and the opposite of whole numbers. So any number that you can write as a positive number and a negative number, those are integers. Whole numbers, they are integers that are all positive, including zero. Because zero can be positive or negative, however, it is included in whole numbers. And lastly, we have natural numbers, which are counting numbers, positive integers, excluding, which means not including, without zero. So let's dive into our first question. The Venn diagram shows the relationship among different sets of numbers. Which number would be located in the shaded part of the diagram? So as we're looking at our Venn diagram, we see that we have in our gray area, it says integers, and then inside of that gray area, we have whole numbers. We have as our answer choices A, is negative 1.7, B is negative eight, C is two thirds or two over three, and D is 10. The first question we need to ask ourselves whenever solving for a problem is, what are we looking for? Very, very, very important question because it helps us to understand everything else we need to do for this specific problem. 
we are looking for the number located in the shaded part of the diagram. And we see that the shaded part, is, those are the integers, right? Now the next, the second most important question is, what information can help us find the answer? So num number one, what are we looking for? Number two, what information can help us find the answer? Well, the number that can help us find the answer is that in, again, in the shaded part of the Venn diagram, those are integers. So since we know we're looking for integers, how do we solve the problem? The way that we solve the problem is remembering what we just reviewed. We said that integers are whole numbers and they're opposites, okay? So numbers that are positive, that can be written, written as a positive number and a negative number, those are integers. So as we look at our answer choices, again, A is negative 1.7, B is negative eight, C is two thirds, D is 10, what can be written as an integer? And remember, remember, it's the only, it can be only in the inside of the shaded part. Cause remember we talked about whole numbers and we had our um, graphic uh, diagram to show a uh, graphic organizer showing all the different types of numbers. But for our integers, what's the only number that can be in our shaded area? And if you said B negative eight, you are absolutely right. Good job. Now you may be asking, well, Miss Jackson, what about D 10? Remember we said in the shaded area, so 10 is actually a whole number. It can go in that white area with whole numbers because it's a positive integer. However, Yes, it can go into the integers part as well, but it was only lo the number that's located can be located only in the shaded part of the diagram. And we know that it's negative eight. Let's look at our next problem. And remember, these problems are in our workbook that can be purchased in our store. The link is in the description box. So number two says, which graphic dot, which graphic organizer correctly groups the following numbers? And the numbers are 3.4, negative two, three, and negative 1.2. So for our F, we have for rational numbers, we have 3.4 and negative 1.2. For integers, we have negative two. And for whole numbers, we have three. For G, for rational numbers, we have 3.4. In integers, we have negative two, negative 1.2, and in whole numbers, we have three. For rational numbers for H, we have 3.4, integers, negative 1.2, and whole numbers, negative two and three. Lastly, for J, we don't have anything in our rational numbers. For integers, we have negative two, 3.4, Neg and negative 1.2, and for whole numbers, we have three. Now, what's our most important question? What are we looking for? Remember, very, very important that you start off with that, that question. We are looking for the graphic organizer that correctly groups 3.4, negative two, three, and negative 1.2. What's our second most important question? Exactly, what information can help us find the answer, okay? What information can help us find the answer? Well, the information that can help us find the answer is understanding what are rational numbers, integers, and whole numbers, what those numbers look like so that we can um, correctly answer this question. So here is a review of what rational numbers are that we just went over integers and whole numbers. Next question is how, what is the correct answer? Okay, what is the correct answer? We see the different numbers and the definition of those numbers. We see our graphic organizers, 
Let's see what would be the correct answer. Is it F? Is it G? Is it H or is it J? What do you think? If you said F, you are absolutely correct. For rational numbers, remember we said that rational numbers are numbers that can be written as a fraction and also, excuse me, we can have a decimal point because that can convert into a fraction. So for instance, for 3.4, we know that is three and four tenths, okay? For our integers, it's negative two, and for our whole numbers, it is three. And that is it for our review of, of classifying rational numbers. My name is Shay Jackson with Height Math. Don't forget, you can purchase our sixth grade star math review workbook at our store. The link will be in the description box. Talk to you later. And remember, sixth graders, practice makes awesome.